Greetings, family, and welcome to another edition of KSOL Black Talk Radio, the new black media. This video is about House Majority Whip James E. Clyburn, who sharply rebuked Donald Trump's praise of Confederate General Robert E. Lee, who the president praised as a, quote, great general. Now, we know Donald Trump is not the brightest person in the world. He's not the sharpest person in the world. We know that he has low IQ, posing like he has high IQ just because he has a lot of money. People misconstrue that with intelligence. Not so. But nonetheless, the fact of the matter is, Robert E. Lee was a great tactician and was not a great person, said Clyburn of South Carolina on ABC's This Week on Sunday. Robert E. Lee was a slave owner and a brutal slave master at that. Thankfully, he lost the war. And I find it kind of interesting, the president is now glorifying a loser. He always said that he hated losers. Robert E. Lee was a loser. Unquote. Now, family, we know that Black folk like James Clyburn, who has been in politics for umpteen years, will go with that. They have done absolutely nothing for black America. If you look at the state of black America today, we have to ask, what have you done? And I can't say that I could mention anything about this guy here, Clyburn. Maybe you can, and if you can, you can leave it in the comments section. But I'll say this. I'm so sick of these type of guys who, are, who have been in politics for all these years, and they stay quiet on the real important issues. They don't speak up for black issues. It's always about minorities or people of color or all these other terms that don't apply to black people. I'm tired of these politicians who can't even say the word black with a smile on their face. We need to learn how to say that and be proud of that. You know, when I read my stories to you, family, I hope you guys don't think that the storylines are actually using those words when I say black. I'm inserting that. They're using other words like minorities and people of color or, or brown or all these other terms that I refuse to use. I hope you've caught that, my subscribers. I hope you've caught that about me. I, I'm not one of those who's just going to put what they put exactly the way they put it. I like to read between the lines and I like to speak the truth about it. So, moving on, he says, quote, And even if you could get beyond that, at the end of the Civil War, he continued, Robert E. Lee asked all of his comrades to lay down their guns and to furl those Confederate flags. And if my memory serves, and put them in your attics. So if the president is going to glorify Robert E. Lee, Let's at least be consistent about it. Unquote. Well, anyways, I'm not going to continue on this story because, number one, I'm not a fan of uh, Donald Trump. I find no interest in Robert E. Lee statue or otherwise. And I don't have any kind of feelings towards James Clyburn. I just find it funny that they get in the headlines when all of a sudden when they have something to say against Trump and the media will use this so that way Donald Trump can turn around and maybe say something scathing about James Clyburn because you know how immature Donald Trump is we know how childish he can be you know how minuscule and trivial he can be. That goes for his supporters too. Very trivial. P 
petty. Words like that. But before we go out, we need to at least address this one last issue because see James Clyburn here, he is pulling for Joe Biden. And again, these are black folks who are not looking for anything in return. They just want us to follow their lead and vote for who they think we should be voting for. And it just doesn't work that way anymore. Hashtag 2020 tangibles. Hashtag reparations. Hashtag ADOS American descendants of slaves. Anyways, after former Vice President Joe Biden announced his presidential bid Thursday with a video directly lambasting the president's response to the white nationalist rally in Charlottesville, Trump defended his there were very fine people on both sides comments. And what's funny about that is he, he goes into saying, I was talking about people that went because they felt very strongly about the monument to Robert E. Lee a great general whether you like it or not he was one of the great generals Trump said so Trump used that lame ass excuse as to why he said there's very fine people on both sides we all know what he meant and he didn't mean it about that now all of a sudden what a year two three years later now all of a sudden he's gonna say oh I, I meant it it was about the statue you know one thing about white folks that just just makes me just makes me sick to my stomach is all the lies. I've never met a cultural group that lie so much and about so much. I can't even believe hardly anything that comes out of your mouths without me turning around and going to investigate myself. That's how bad it's gotten. I can't believe anything that you say these days. I have to go research it myself for all the lies that I've discovered that white culture has fed to Americans and people around the world for that matter. But I digress. He says people were there protesting the taking down of the monument of Robert E. Lee, Trump also said. Everybody knows that. Trump, you use this as a lame-ass excuse, but we're going to continue. It says, but Biden sharply criticized Trump's comments about the violence that ensued at the white nationalist rally, which left one young woman, a counter-protester, dead. Quote, with those words, the so-called president of the United States assigned a moral equivalence between those spreading hate and those with the courage to stand against it, Biden said in his video. And in that moment, I knew the threat to this nation was unlike any I ever seen in my lifetime Unquote. He also declared the 2020 election a battle for the soul of this nation. Isn't that the truth? Clyburn, who represents Charleston, South Carolina, where nine were killed in a church shooting, said Biden is the front runner to challenge Trump in 2020. Quote, I have talked to people here in South Carolina and I believe that at this point in time Joe Biden is probably the leader he said the question is whether or not he can maintain his lead well that is the end of this story and let me just say this as I end this video to the James Clyburns and the like Black people are not giving up our vote to Democrats, Republicans, or anyone else without 
intangibles, reparations, get that through and through your head. This is KSOL Black Talk Radio, hoping you like and share this video. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out.